confused. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be discussing what the next MDT pay-per-view is going to be. So we just left the MDT Royal Rumble, right? It was posted two days ago on Saturday evening around 6 p.m. or so, depending on the time zone that you were in. And it was real received, and I appreciate you guys so very much for checking it out. If you have not checked it out yet, please go do so. It would mean a lot to me. It would mean a lot to um, everybody here in the MDT family. Face Wife and Brad would also appreciate it as they also played a part in the making of the show. And I would really appreciate it if you guys would check it out if you haven't already. But I appreciate all of the kind comments and everything in between. It's so supporting and it makes me drive harder and motivated to, you know, grind harder on the pick fed and put on awesome shows and produce them the way that we do here. And I just appreciate it so much for all of the well-received feedback, but today's video I did want to discuss, we're just going to be talking straight up here with some images over my voice, but what I wanted to talk about is what the next MDT pay-per-view was, because somebody brought it to my attention, they were like, Trey, what the crap, you usually always talk about the next pay-per-view at your pay-per-view, so it like sold out, we talked about Royal Rumble, I think at... Uh, what was it, Money in the Bank, we talked about sold out, and then, you know, at Blackout, we talked about Money in the Bank, so, I mean, we do usually talk about the next pay-per-view at the, at the current pay-per-view, but at the Royal Rumble, we did not. I think it's because we didn't have as, as many commercial breaks, you know, we usually have five or six or even seven sometimes, I think, commercial breaks in between each match, but there were only five matches on the card, so therefore, I think there was only four commercial breaks or so. And so, I wanted to talk about the next pay-per-view, and what it's going to be, guys, just get this, this is the last stop before MDT My Damn Nation, which is the MDT equivalent of WrestleMania in real life. Before My Damn Nation, the last stop on the way, guys, will be MDT Hell's Gate. I do not have graphics just for it, but it is MDT Hell's Gate, and it's going to be our Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. I believe there's going to be two Elimination Chamber matches on this card, one for MDT Live and one for Vindication going into My Damn Nation, and you guys will have to see, I guess, how the storylines progress, what matches we get booked for these cards, but uh, we do have six episodes to get through. We have three Vindications and three MDT Lives, just like we always do. You know, that's how it works. That's the formula we've done since day one. You go Vindication, MDT Live, Vindication, MDT Live, Vindication, MDT Live, and then it's time for another pay-per-view, which will be Hell's Gate next, and I'm very excited to do it. You know, I tried to, um, when I laid out the, the pay-per-view calendar at the very beginning, literally, I think almost two years ago, I wanted to make it where, you know, it was, it was uh, not as long to get to WrestleMania, so it's, you know... We've uh, in the last two years we've done four shows, which is kind of ridiculous. But you got to think about the the 20 or 24 episodes that we've done of the regular weekly television shows, Vindication and MDT Live. So we've done quite a many of shows. I know it seems like. You know, we haven't done that many shows, but it's because of all the work that goes into building up for those shows, and it also goes into all the editing and the producing and the posing and filming that actually goes into it, and, you know, the, the more in-depth we get, the more that we progress and the more it improves and everything, we're going to have to, you know, in, you know, pay more attention to detail, we're going to have to pose harder, get better every single time, produce better, pay more attention to the details, the cinematography, all of that good stuff, and, uh, you know, the, the shows may take even longer. So another idea that I had was that maybe turning the weekly episodes of Vindication and MDT Live instead of taking it and doing, you know, episode 13 and then two, three weeks later, episode 13 of MDT Live coming out and then again two, three weeks later, Vindication comes out and so on and so forth until we get to the next pay-per-view, which ends up being about four to six months in between pay-per-views, which is way too long. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous and I apologize, but I literally go as fast as I possibly can for you guys. Um, instead of doing that, maybe taking a month and doing episode 13 of both shows, episode 14 of both shows, and episode 15 of both shows, combining them all in one and breaking down what happens at each episode in like maybe one big hybrid episode, and then doing the pay-per-view after that. Maybe I could cut down, maybe instead of having to wait four to six months for a new pay-per-view, maybe you guys would only have to wait two to three months or one and a half to two months, depending on how I do it. I mean, it would be a learning curve. It would be a learning process, and you guys would have to stick with me and, you know, try to figure things out, but I'm also still working on it. How would it actually be, you know, planned out? How it would it actually be booked would actually have to be 
um, thought out and written out. Me and Brad and Facewife would have to come together and talk about it and stuff because I would still want it to be in an entertaining, uh, you know, aspect and concept. I would I would hate for it to just be, you know, here's what happens, here's what happens, and it be your typical raw garbage. You want it to be entertaining. I want it to be something that's, you know, um, important and, you know, just as good as the weekly shows would be of Vindication and MDT Live. So I just wanted to talk about that. I wanted to tell you guys the next pay-per-view, which is Hell's Gate. It's been playing for a long time, and so that is our last stop before My Damn Nation, and I was talking to a couple of my buddies, and the the thing that I thought about was my goal for myself, which is absolutely ridiculous, and it's really going to be um, difficult to do, and it may be, we may not even come close to the deadline or whatever, but my goal would be is to try to get My Damn Nation up before 2020, and if that were the case, then we may have to switch to the uh, the you know the hybrid episodes of Vindication and MDT Live. I don't know, guys. I just want to know your thoughts. What do you think we should do about that? Do you guys enjoy the weekly episodes? You know, two weeks, two and a half weeks, a new Vindication slash MDT Live drops until we get to the next pay-per-view. You know, I know it really builds the feuds. You really get the storyline progression. You really get to buy in and figure out you know what's going on leading into the pay-per-view. But the weekly episodes, I think, end up getting anywhere from 12 to 20,000 views, and then the pay-per-views end up getting way more. So the people, I believe, are really targeted towards the pay-per-views, and you know we could put on better matches, we could put on better quality shows, but I do love progressing the storylines because the whole reason that I started the PickFed was to was to progress storylines because I would watch others, and I would be like, well, I understand that this guy attacked this guy at the last pay-per-view, but like, why are they feuding? I want an in-depth storyline like we get on WWE television and you know all the details and stuff like that. So that is something that I am. Uh, that's something that has always driven the uh, the pick fed and the the creativity behind it. But again, guys, let me know. I want to know what your thoughts are on the Elimination Chamber pay per view Hell's Gate. I also want to know what your thoughts are on My Damn Nation, and I want your thoughts on this right here. Do you, I even posted on the community page? You can go vote right now. Do you like the full episodes, the full 20 to 25 minute episodes of weekly, or I say weekly in in quotes because you know it's supposed to be like weekly Raw and SmackDown, but it's clearly there's way too much work that goes into it in order to post it weekly. I wish I could. If I had a full team working for me or something, I could easily do it. But it is it is literally me that does the posing, the editing, the filming, the everything that you guys see besides the commentary and the creative writing and the whatever. I literally do it all by myself, and um, if I have any help, it's it's usually on maybe a couple ideas, some some script stuff, and then, of course, announcing slash the PA and all that good stuff, but let me know down in the comment section below. Also, go to the community tab and vote if you want, uh, if that's something you're interested in, the big, you know, highlights slash hybrid episodes of Vindication slash MDT Live, and or you want to see the full 20, 25 minute shows like Raw and SmackDown. Please let me know, guys. I would really appreciate it. That pretty much ends it for today's talk. I know it's not nothing too interesting. I mean, you get some good information on what I'm thinking and you get to vote on it. But as far as content, as far as, you know, figures and customs and stuff of that nature, uh, not, not going to be in today's video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. I would love to know your thoughts. Love you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I think I'm going to work on some customs today, possibly, and have that up tomorrow for you guys or what, whatever. I'm still wait. I mean, guys, it's been like forever, like ringside. I've been waiting on ringside to get in Elite Series 68 forever now, it seems like. I feel like Top Talents 2019 is going to come out before Elite Series 68. What do you guys think? Also, really hyped for Elite Series 69. That set's beautiful. We need to do a video on that. I mean, my God, it's probably the best Elite set ever made. That's something that we may get into, but... Thank you guys so much for watching. That's pretty much going to do it. Please vote on the community tab. Let me know down in the comment section below what you're thinking. And I appreciate it so very much. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.